Hello students, welcome back. Let's take up the next question. So the next question is, a 6 cm tall object placed perpendicular to the principal axis of a concave mirror of focal length 30 cm. The distance of the object from the mirror is 45 cm. Use mirror formula to determine the position, nature and size of the image formed. Also draw label diagram to show the image formation in this case. So let us first understand the question. So here we have been given a concave mirror whose focal length is 30 cm. So this is a concave mirror and the focal length here is 30 cm. So the radius of curvature will be 60 cm. Okay, so F is 30 and the point C that is the radius of curvature is situated at a distance of 60 cm from the pole. Then we have the size of the object. So a 6 cm tall. So the object height is 6 cm and it is situated at a distance of 45 cm from the mirror. So here it is situated at 45 cm. So the object distance is 45 cm. Now this is a case of the object being situated between the center of curvature and the focus. So if we look at the ray diagram for image formation, one ray will go parallel to the principal axis and after reflection it will pass through the focus. Another one will go through the uh, center of curvature. It will be directed towards the center of curvature after reflection. So these two reflected rays will meet at this point and this will be the point where the image is formed. So this distance is known as the image distance. So this will be the image distance. So here in the question we are asked to find out this question, this answer and then we will find out what is the nature of this image. So what are the characteristics of the image that should be formed in this case? So the nature is that the image should be formed beyond C. Then it should be a real inverted. Okay, it should be real inverted and it should be magnified. So these are the characteristics which needs to be obeyed by the image. So uh, as per the question, we will see whether these conditions are satisfied in our answers or not. Okay, so we will write down what all are the formulas needed first. So the formula, since it is a mirror, so we will have to obviously use the mirror formula. That is 1 by F is 1 by V plus 1 by U. And then since size is asked, so we have to write height of image by height of object which is negative image distance by object distance. So let's solve it. Now we'll first write down what all are given. So the focal length is given that is minus 30 centimeter because to measure the focal length we have to go from the pole towards the left and so to measure the object distance also we have to go from the pole towards the left. So it is negative 45. Now we have to find out what is V. So using the mirror formula 1 by F is 1 by V plus 1 by U. So we get here 1 by V will be 1 by F minus 1 by U. Substituting the values V uh, 1 by F. F is minus 30 over here. Minus of U is minus 45 which is minus 1 by 30 plus 1 by 45. If we take the LCM, like I always say, do not multiply here because we will easily reduce it after getting the answer in the form of a fraction. So 30, 30 gets cancelled. It is minus 45 plus minus, sorry, plus 30. So it comes to be 1 by V is minus 15 by 30 into 45 which is minus 1 by 90. So V comes to be minus 
90 centimeter. So this is our image distance. So next we have to find out. So here position we found out. Now we'll find out the nature and size. So using the magnification formula, HI by HO is minus V by U. HI is unknown by HO is 6 which is negative uh, V is minus 90 by minus 45. So minus minus gets cancelled 2. So here height of the image by 6 is minus 2 which implies height of the image is minus 12 centimeter. So from these two answers we see that the image is formed at a distance of 90 centimeter from the pole. So it should as per the condition it should form beyond C that means it should form at a distance more than 60 centimeter. So here we got it is 90 centimeter. So our condition is satisfied then it should be real inverted and magnified. Yes the image is real and inverted because this negative sign it shows that it is real and inverted and magnified yes this is a magnified image because the size of the object was 6 centimeter whereas the size of the image is 12 centimeter so in this way every time you get a light related question you can easily uh, correlate it you can easily uh, tally it with the theory that you have studied what all conditions you had studied in theory are all those conditions satisfied in your answer if yes then your answer is surely correct i hope you have understood this question thanks for watching